course, we we need the fans there. We want we want the fans there to to help and support us because it, it it really does help. Okay, Darren, uh, how do you feel after uh, get back to the team after you get injury last camp? Yeah, it's always good, always good to come back. Um, like I always say when I stand here, it's an uh, honour always to be called for your national team. So uh, every time I come back here, uh, I'm happy to be here and hopefully we can have a successful camp. How do you see the difference of uh, this team compared to Kim Pangon team? Um, like you see, we have almost all the players here have been here before. Um, obviously, Coach Kim has left and, and uh, Coach Power now has taken over. So we're all very familiar with, with him how he likes to work um, we haven't had much time so I think not much changes really this the same system and the same setup is sort of there but every coach has their own way of playing so slight changes here and there but um, all the players are, are, are very comfortable okay. and then uh, there is a lot of option in, in front uh, striker I think four or five so how do you see the situation for you uh, to get the starting lineup um, yeah, like you say, now the forward options are, are looking very strong. Um, but if you look at all of the, the strikers, they all, all offer different things in, in different ways. So I think that can only be a good thing for Malaysia. Um, of course, the chances of, of me maybe starting might be a bit less with more options, but whatever um, role I have in the team, I'll come on and, and give my best. So if it's starting or if it's coming off the bench, I'll be ready. Um, Darren, with the news of the boycott, I mean, it's making its rounds. Everyone knows that the fans are boycotting and ticket sales are not so uh, well. It's not doing well. Does this affect you guys at all? Um, uh, not really. It's, it's our job to focus on the performance and we're footballers at the end of the day. So it's important that we train hard and we're ready for the game. Um, that's all we can focus on as uh, as uh, footballers. But of course, we we need the fans there. We want we want the fans there to to help and support us because it, it it really does help. Do you remember in any cases with the national team that you've had like minimal amount of fans in the crowd in a stadium as massive as Bukit Jalil? Uh, I think there might have been times in the past, but I, I can't I, I can't remember when. But there has been times where the support hasn't hasn't been as big as it has been in recent years. But um, like I say, we focus on the football and we just hope the, the fans can come and Okay, so support. Darren, speaking about uh, the Philippines for the first match, um, what do you guys know of the Philippines? What do you guys make of them? And yeah, how do you guys plan on going about that? Yeah, um, so we, we obviously know that they're, now they've just changed their coach very recently. So that makes it a bit harder for us as well. We don't know what they're going to do. We don't know what system they might play with the new coach, but um, they have a lot of young players playing abroad, so we cannot underestimate the Philippines. Um, they're not far off us in the rankings, to be honest. So we know that it's not going to be an easy game. We need to go there and be at our best if we want to if we want to make it to the final. Darren, after five days training here, so can you describe or explain more about uh, the competition among strikers here? Is it very uh, high intensity? Yeah, of course. Like in previous call-ups, we've we've not had maybe as many options up front. Um, Shafi Ahmad's back, who everyone knows what qualities he can bring to the national team. Um, we have Paolo there, who's doing very well this season, and Romel's also been great at JDT. So the more competition in that department, like I said, is, is can only be a good thing for Malaysia. So of, of course we're we're all trying to to be the one that starts the game, but we all know that we have an important role, whether we come on the pitch or we start. So. Like I say, to have more options is only a good thing for Malaysia. Is there any obvious uh, difference between last call-up and the Pangon and just only five days? Can you see the difference? Uh, I wasn't actually here for the last call-up, but like I said, it's, it's the same group of players. The coaching staff hasn't changed too much, but every coach has their own way of, of wanting us to play and philosophy. So there'll be slight, slight changes, but the, the personnel is very similar. Um, Darryl, what kind of personal guarantee can you give to the fans and such on your performance coming up in um, the tournament? Like I always say when I, st when I stand here, I'm, I'll always go and give 100%. That's, that's in, that's, that comes natural to me. Um, I'll always want to score goals. I'll hope to score goals. But yeah, I can guarantee one thing. When I do cross that line for Malaysia, I'll always go and give 100%. What well, did it last for me? Uh, one goal and one assist in the league. So, uh, is you in a good shape for, for help the team to get uh, as a winner? Uh, 
for this edition? Yeah, um, it's been a bit stop-start for me again this season. I had an, an injury that made me miss the last call-up and I was out for, for quite a few weeks. So it's hard to get that, um, that rhythm. Um, so yeah, it's not long since I've been back from injury, but I'm hoping I'll be at my best and to contribute in any way possible. If it's an assist or a goal, even better. But of course, the, mo the most important thing is that we, um, we perform well and we show, we show Malaysia what we're capable of doing. Thank you, Darren. Great. Thank you very Thank you. much. Thank you.